ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Team Khalid YouTube channel. My name is Renzo and today we have another special tutorial for you guys. And like we uh, posted before is the way how you can put pressure on your opponent. But what do you do if somebody's putting that pressure on you and you actually don't want to concede the, the goals, but you just want to score the goals? Because most of the time, if somebody's putting pressure, you're already up front. And um, the thing is, the D-pad tactic has been nerfed. So people are gonna probably use a formation which constantly puts pressure on you. So how do you play out of that? You have to change your tactics. What those tactics are, we're gonna hop into that straight away. So like always, just sit back, relax, and enjoy. So the first tactic, 4-4-2 long ball. We decided that we had to make a formation or a tactic that is actually effective with a meta tactic as well. The 4 for 2 is being used by a lot of players, a lot of pros, a lot of competitors and putting long ball in it as an offensive uh, style is very effective in order to create the space um, down the wing. The most effective tactics are on this are probably to put the depth on like 3 or 2 because usually when your opponent is putting pressure on you, you're already leading. Um, you don't want to be too conservative like putting everybody in the box because good players can usually work around uh, space in the box but you also don't want to yeah put your players up, uh, too high up the pitch um, but the most important thing on the offensive style as well tactic wise is the width we had the width on eight you can experiment with that uh, putting it on at least seven is what we recommend and yeah, your formation obviously gonna look like a regular 442. You can also use the 442 with CMs, but like I said, you're leading, so CDMs should be a little bit more effective, um, usually when people are putting pressure on you. For the instructions, pretty basic on the CDMs. Cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking, cover center. The cut passing lanes is something that is a personal preference. We like to use it. Um, but the most important thing here is stay wide and come short on your wingers. You've got to get into the box for cross as well. Um, this allows them to usually, when the time is right, enter the box and create the space uh, in behind on the fullbacks, which is going to work just perfect with the long ball instruction because long ball usually allows players with good attacking positioning to get in behind when they feel the time is right. But the strikers, one on drift wide and getting behind, take the fastest striker. And CR7, for example, here as a target man. Why? Because we can always play him um, with the long ball, like the tactic is, uh, even through the air. And obviously CR7 is um, very effective at just heading the ball to another player, which is very effective when you're under pressure. Like we're gonna see here in these examples of the gameplay, um, it's actually Levy and uh, our coach, Legend Fraud, they uh, had a training session here on putting like pressure on one opponent and the other one had to play uh, out of the pressure. And as you can see here, um, the striker, when he drifts wide, it opens up space for other people um, to enter the middle of the pitch. So you always have like a triangle forming if you're uh, passing out of your center backs. Here again, Fernandez just absolutely in space and the Rashford here just getting in behind of the fullback creating the space easily but when the pressure is like coming off your opponent um, there's this initial pass that is always very important to do I also explained this in the team press uh, video that if we allow uh, or, or if we put pressure on your opponent then their initial pass is the most important which in the 442 it is usually a little bit easier to reach your strikers more effectively especially with the instruction target man that we have and the other one drift wide and get in behind so you can play like an instant through ball or like instant combination through ball a little bit more easy by just putting the ball forward directly to your strikers which is a little bit easier to do and also your wingers are usually open for the initial pass uh, out of your center backs or cdms which just allows you to uh, play out of pressure a little bit more easy because you always want to play um, off your own half, right? Then we have a little different tactic that is not very commonly used. It's the 4-2-4 in order to play out of pressure. 
and we use drawback on this because we obviously have four attackers like attacking minded players and dropping or like having them drop back will not make you feel too vulnerable it's just this initial moment of uh, counter-attacking that can make it a little tricky but in the 4-2-4 it's actually very very good to hold possession on your opponent's half but we'll see that later in the gameplay uh, the tactics here again free depth like I said before, we don't want to give away too much uh, of space, but we're also not wanting to allow our opponent to easily enter the box. Offensive style, just balance. Again, 8 width and not very much on players in the box because, like I said, we just want to hold the possession on our opponent's half. Um, the wingers, it's pretty much the same, like you want to um, uh, put your players positioned uh, as in the 4-4-2. Just your wingers on the right and left forward uh, position. CR7, that's the right striker. I think in the gameplay it's actually Xiao Felix, but Puskas is the left striker. And the instructions here, your fullbacks stay back while attacking, pretty basic. Um, we don't want them to rushing forward. We already have wingers. And stay back while attacking on the CMs. Like I said, with a regular 4-4-2, you would put stay back while attacking and nothing else uh, on the CMs as well. Uh, we're also using the 4 for 2 second variation in the previous one. And this one, this is the most important. Like, we have the wingers here, and they actually have a, a support run option as well, which makes them target man. And like we did before, it's come short and stay wide, but now they're functioning as a target man. So what do you have here? You always have your wingers like drop back at initially to um, play in, and you can play these triangle passes, which are CMs. We'll see that in the gameplay. Um, CR7, Drift White, getting behind, uh, Puskas, Drift White, Target Man, I'd actually switch that around but I think that's a little mistake in the tactics here. Um, I would put CR7 as the Target Man and Puskas as the one getting in behind. Um, but like you can see here, when you're um, in possession with your fullback, there's actually always the option to play down the winger and form a triangle passing um, combination with your strikers or either your CMs. And this allows you to just get in behind very easily because the uh, opponent usually has like one player down the wing pressing. And why is that? Because usually the wingers, or even if a player is playing 4 4 2, 4 2 3 1, um, they cut inside to put pressure. Like you can see here, Roberto Carlos in position. There's just space to make the pass, and there's two or three players actually pressing the middle side of the pitch. And it just allows you for easy possession on your opponent's half which he has to commit but also here the trick was with Xiao Felix he, tr he came short at first and you can L1 trigger it by um, aiming at Xiao Felix and then he'll make the run in behind and that's very effective as well against pressure to trigger these manual runs with like R1 or RB if you're on Xbox you call them short and if you immediately press L1 then they get in behind again and that just yeah, tricks the AI that is putting pressure um, very effectively. Like you can see here, just easy space down the wing and this function of getting in behind and coming short is working perfectly in this uh, tactic as well. It's, a little, it's similar but also different to uh, the 442, just because you have so much more um, attacking options so when you're in position on or in possession I should say in uh, your opponent's half there's just so many options to play out of and uh, it's just the initial pass like I said before that is very important you can see here it's just constant triangle combinations or just going down the byline which um, is more important with the 4-2-4 than it is with the 4-4-2 because with the 4-4-2 you are a little bit more conservative down the wings they are not pushed up as high as in the 4-2-4 but once you reach those wingers in the 4-2-4 it is almost instantly a chance and that is just very effective and it works beautiful but it takes some practice so practice this first And for the last tactic, we have something that is very commonly used as well as a base tactic, but it's the 4-2-3-1, probably one of the best formations out there. We'll have a formation guide coming up for that as well. Um, defensive style drop back, again, same stuff, free depth, but the width on this is on 10, 
And like I said, you can experiment with this on every different formation from seven to 10, but having a very um, high width as a tactic is very, very important in playing uh, out under pressure. And obviously here, CR7 would be your main man up front. Puskas, very effective as a cam. I can imagine that you guys have the likes of Neymar, Mbappe, um, put those players like in the central positions and obviously you want to have in the 4 2 3 one you actually want to have more of the um, agile right and left cams and I will explain that because usually you have the space that you want to create down the wing but this isn't really um, a formation in which the, the wingers are automatically running in behind you have the long ball instruction which helps but it, they are cams and like you always see in 4 2 3 one it's kind of manually triggering uh, runs instead of actually them making the runs themselves in the 4-4-2 or the 4-2-4 but in this this formation you can hold possession a little bit more effectively on your own half as you can see here the center backs they have space and this is a tricky pass but it works and um, the thing is with the 4-2-3-1 long ball you obviously are gonna get men in behind because of the long ball but the 4-2-3-1 is usually a stable formation you can just hold possession here as we can see here center backs there's somebody open center mids get open and it's just because you have so many players that are like um, usually on your own half because you only have one striker um, it forces your opponent to once they press they have to commit so many men forward in order to press you that it is usually a one-on-one -on, -one on every situation um, with the striker or the right or left camp. Once you get past them, you're already through. Um, just because they have to press so many men at the back, and which usually allows you to have options um, on your own half with the center backs, the full backs. And if you play out well, you don't really get into trouble. But like I said, this is just a tactic that is uh, very effectively down, um, going down the middle with the CDMs, with the wingers and it's just a little bit of combination play that you always have to perform. Like you can see here, we're getting pressed with our center backs, but there's actually one, two, three people in the middle that are actually open. And there's one CDM that's getting covered by two men. So what happens usually with this tactic is that the cam gets the free roll um, because they have to pressure you. And it's just a one-on-one -on -one with the center backs every time. And the cam is usually the one that is able to uh, get the ball in his feet and turn away. Like I said, get your Neymar, get your Puskas, get the whoever is very agile so they can dribble out of that. Just experiment with these tactics. If you're having trouble uh, getting out of pressure and once you're leading, your opponent will get very, very frustrated and might most likely even pick up a couple of yellow or red cards uh, if they can't get the ball of you. But that was it for this video. Very long video. Stay tuned for more videos. My name is Renzo. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao, ciao.